She used to design for Hermes. Chanel jackets are the only jacket super forgiving. Be dressed up or dressed down. Luxury ready to wear territory without the price tag. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you a major Hermes silk haul. Hermes silk scarves are absolutely one of my favorite categories to shop in and I kind of overindulge a little bit but they are beautiful and I think they are worth it especially because I do wear them several different ways. I already have two other videos that I share with you all the different ways that I wear and I'm also going to do that with these ones so that you can potentially get more cost per wear but even if you wear it just one way I think they're absolutely stunning and good quality which is the reason why I keep buying them. I'm going to style each of them because I think different patterns will style differently. Each scarf's pattern will wear better in a certain way but again it's really up to you it's all to each their own but before that we're gonna do a clothing haul first there's a total of eight pieces of ready to wear and they're so amazingly beautiful of course I'm already wearing one set of them this jacket is a designer jacket by Nelly C this designer Nelly C is the current lead designer at Maison Kitsune and also a former designer at Faith Connection she's known for her very masculine design but for women's wear and this blazer which is called the Alba Belted Blazer is one of her designs that she designed for Fabrique. So Fabrique or Fabric is a collective designer brand. They collaborate and work with over 300 of the exceptional designers worldwide. Their company mission is to connect creativity and culture through fashion and connect them to a community of customers that really value style, design, and high quality as well as responsibly created pieces. They're even responsible when it comes to their packaging of each garment. So this is just an example. This is a bag that I received one of the jackets in. Here are the other paper bags that I also received each of the garments that were packaged individually. That's what really, really attracted me to working with Fabric because I was really, really blown away by each design. And the reason why their designs are so beautiful is because they work with designers that work for Chanel, Hermes, Kitsune, and even the fabric and materials that they use for each garment is really, really good quality for a fraction of the cost that you would normally get from actual ready to wear from designers that work at these high-end fashion house. So going back to the Alba belted blazer and the Alba belted trousers, this jacket has a total of two collars, one that is completely detachable, kind of more simple menswear look. It's made of a wool blend, so it's kind of like that nice uh, worsted wool feel, but slightly softer plastic buttons. You've got this tie right here all around the waist slip pockets on the side and it's fully lined even though this jacket is a little oversized because it's got a little bit of shoulder pads and it's slightly ever so slightly dropped shoulders so it gives you the illusion of kind of this triangle shape these belts here they're completely detachable on the trousers as well as on the jacket you can wear your own belts this feature where the collar this second color is completely detachable it is so super cool it just it gives me super modern vibes and that is the reason why I put my hair up so I deliberately left this tag on so that I can show you how they come packaged if everything fits you just cut this off and uh, the jacket is non-returnable but that's how they package it very very simple no plastic this is called the Stoneham blazer in eco wax leather and as you can see it's got this really really gorgeous sheen to it the touch and the feel of this eco leather which is vegan leather is really supple but it has substance it's really smooth to the touch it's not sticky at all i don't like vegan leather that is kind of sticky uh, this really feels like leather it's really really gorgeous fully line one button the inside even has this like uh, side pocket you've also got slip pockets down each side of the jacket and there's one middle slit here that oversized jacket as well really really perfect for transitional weather so here I've styled it with my Elmer shorts and a little tank top underneath and it's like the perfect jacket to throw on when it's still 
not quite fall yet but it's also kind of too cold to just go out without too cold to not wear a jacket and this comes in super perfect i love this really rustic very rich kind of brown it goes so so well with my me kelly in gold when you look at it from up close and even from afar you can't really tell that it's a vegan leather here you see the designer which is Sina stanek I don't know if I said it wrong, but he's from London. He is a former McQueen visionary acclaimed with tons of awards. Some of his favorite clients are Beyonce and Kate Moss. Actually, that makes sense. I can totally see Kate Moss wearing something like this. She's super cool, super modern. By the way, I took this one in extra small P, which means petite. So it's slightly shorter than the regular extra small. Based on the size chart, I knew that I wanted to you know still have the oversized look but not be so long that it covers my hands so this was the perfect fit for me up next we have the faith jacket in worsted wool i've already worn this jacket so many times asymmetrical closure design also a black and white trim super cool the white trim is more hidden it's more on the inside but it does peek out you can see a little bit of that white peeking out through the sleeves as well i left the buttons open but you can totally close them i just like them open so you can even see that white trim a little bit better the worsted wool material so it's super soft and really really comfortable and really great for this kind of weather it's slightly cropped as well has these cool pockets the shoulders are slightly ever so slightly oversized with a tiny like a very tiny bit of shoulder pads and it's cropped so it's really really nice with high-waisted pants and i love this red thread here that they've left kind of undone in the back it's so so cool this jacket is by this designer jin kim she's actually based in milan italy she's been with fabric since 2022 and she's known for her very classic versatile colors french elegance she's worked at hugo boss moschino dkny d squared you sort of get the vibe right very sort of like contemporary modern this jacket when i wore it it gave me two vibes it gave me sort of like cool korean vibes i'm guessing jin kim is a korean name so she's probably a korean descent but it also gave me almaz vibes i don't know why because i've seen some almaz jackets that have kind of this asymmetrical uh flap from like a previous season totally fell in love with it and i already wore this out a few times this is a, a denim piece but not just any denim piece it's got this gorgeous pattern on it jacquard fabric and this is your drop shoulder slightly ever so slightly cropped denim jacket for me especially i love wearing denim jackets in the summertime they're also great to transition into pre-fall weather so this one is called the ainsley textured crop jacket the designer herself rebecca bach is from Amsterdam. She's of Danish Asian descent. What's so cool about her designs, and I have a couple of things from her actually, she always puts some sort of unexpected details. The way she did her closure, so you can close up the jacket like normally, but there's also this second closure which kind of cinches in, just gives it that twist. I don't necessarily think that I'm going to wear it that way very often because you have to close so many buttons but it's a cool concept and the fact that she adds a little bit more uniqueness to each of her pieces just goes to show why she won the 2023 um, denim award if you really really like one particular designer you can click on their work and just browse from all of the designs that they have available this is the other piece from the same designer these are called the marley colored pockets jeans you've got a little bit of color blocking just on the waistband and all the way to the pockets right here is also a little bit raised straight line cutting across the middle and that gives you the illusion of that kind of straight very elongating line. The great thing about this kind of hem is that I guess if you're really, really short, you can always cut off more. But for me, it's the perfect length. I got it in the regular size small, one of my favorite pair of jeans. Not only is this denim so soft, like really, really nice and 
kind of medium, not super heavyweight, but not so flimsy. It, it's 100% cotton, by the way, all the seams. That's how you know a garment is not just like fast fashion because they take the care to finish all the single seams inside or it's lined or anything like that. So this is why I call these ready to wear because not only are they designed by real designers that work for real luxury brand names, but they didn't skim off the quality of the material and the craftsmanship. Here's another detail. So you've got the contrast stitching. I also love pairing this with the Faith jacket because that cropness from that jacket and the coolness from both. But definitely, I like to show off the little details right around here. This is called the Lucia jacket in a wool blend tweed. Again, this is the kind of tags that you get when you buy them. I wanna talk about this designer even before I get into the jacket. So this designer, Erin Martinez, based in Paris. She is the former Hermes women's wear designer, which I think explains why I'm really drawn to this jacket because when I saw this jacket, I was like, hmm, it kind of gives me I don't know why it gives me Hermes vibes because you know how Hermes, they make a lot of these wool jackets that have simplified design, but very sophisticated. And that's what it gives me. It gave me that vibe when I saw the shape of this jacket. And now I know why, because <laughs> she used to design for Hermes, which is so cool if you ask me. No button closures. You just kind of wrap it around to a bigger pockets in the front. You've got this small decorated pocket here. The trim is this nice a vegan black trim. Same on the sleeves. And then the back is just the plain tweed as well. I got it in size zero P for petite because I thought it looked a, a little long on the model. For me, this is more of like the outdoor jacket. I saved the best for last. Not really, but they're all great. So this one, what's so special? Let me just show you the jacket first so you can see. This is called the Violet Fringe Jacket in Lamb's Wool Lurex tweed it's a mouthful and it's designed by alex rotin based in paris ex-intern of kenzo and lagerfeld and he's now the chanel haute couture star which again just shows up in his design because when i saw this jacket it immediately gave me chanel vibes i feel like chanel jackets are the only jackets out there in the universe that will I'll be super forgiving to wear. It can literally be dressed up or dressed down, which is exactly what I did with this really great tweed jacket. I wore it with this silk skirt, but I also wore it with these jeans. Instantly elevated the whole outfit. There's a lot of fringe everywhere. It's really, really fun. But at the same time, it's so classic at the same time. Buttons are so kind of outstanding. They blend in with the jacket, but then they close up really, really discreetly and it just is so seamless. The design has slightly of a drop shoulder, uh, very, very thin shoulder pads, which just gives you enough of that lift. And it's just so classic. Slightly cropped as well, really, really gorgeous. A fan of this designer already because um, he has a few pieces under his belt that I saw that I was really, really interested in. And he's also been designing for Fabrik since 2020. So I'm gonna link every single piece that I featured in the description below, along with my discount code to Amy12, so T-O Amy12, to save 12% at checkout. Thank you again so much to Fabrik for collaborating with me. This is one of those times that is not only super exciting for me to share because not only do I love clothes, these pieces are the closest to ready to wear, luxury ready to wear territory without the price tag. Like this suit that I'm wearing, it easily can be actually sold at Kitsune, which is designed by the same designer but you're not gonna pay thousands for it. Okay, time for Hermes unboxing. We'll start off with the tiny little box here. I decided to buy this um, little, um, what did it call? <laughs> Scarf ring for myself because I actually bought another one previously. One as a gift and this one for myself. So the other one I couldn't show you now because it's already gifted. I don't wanna be too excessive at the same time, but sometimes I don't know why I'm just so anal about matching the color of hardware and I just want to have something sometimes more neutral more easy to style with anyway so here you go we've got ah it's really cute so we've got this 
scarf ring. It's, I think it's called the Jumbo Scarf Ring, which I'm not sure why the name, but as you can see, it's in palladium hardware. And sometimes, even like today, right? Like just depending on the outfit, sometimes if I'm wearing a lot of grays and, and maybe just the bag itself has a lot of silver hardware or just more neutral. Actually, it's it makes a really cool ring if my fingers were big enough. This is the other one that I have. It's in rose gold and this is the silver. Um, not that this one is really loud or anything. It's not. But I think sometimes when I look at it, it just looks a little bit more pink than I like. Um, and I find that sometimes having... Anyway, having more options. And I also love that this one is kind of more smooth. Uh, with this one, sometimes I find the scarf goes through a little bit more kind of friction. Um, so this one should have an easier time to get through. I don't know. We'll see. But I just love the design. It was a little expensive because um, everything has gone up in price so much. But I really, really fell in love with it. I wish they had. They, I wish they actually had it in perma brass because I would really like this one in perma brass. This is one that came in a holiday packaging. <laughs> It just shows how long ago did I, I bought this one already um, from the Christmas packaging, actually. So I've had this scarf sitting there for a while. It's just the outside box anyway. To reveal... This scarf! Not sure if it looks familiar to any of you because I technically have worn it already. Really cool design with kind of that um, icy feel with a unicorn in the middle. I constantly still get asked like what the names of the scarves are and unless it's the original video because once I start wearing a scarf, I'm not gonna have the tags with me all the time. So hopefully you guys are gonna look it up now if you're interested in this design. But the reason why I decided to pick this one because it does come in different colorways, but I chose this one, which is the most neutral because of the gray, the gray color tone. It goes well with this kind of like really cool tone jacket. So we'll style all of this in a moment. So here's another one. I don't really know which one is in which scarf, so which box I mean. So let's open this up. Ah, yes. So this one I haven't worn yet. I also bought it for the same reason, the colorway. It's such a great design, has so many details and you can technically get it in like a ton of colors, but I got it in this just black and white because I really wanted a white scarf. And this one is called the flagship scarf. So this one, you can see the label right here. It's the flagship, Hermes flagship. And I have it in the blanc, noir, and gris, which is gray. So you see, it's mostly like, it's mostly like a white scarf, right? But uh, the design itself is really, really cool because it shows the flagship store. It's essentially white with black line work and some grays on it. So like you see the gray over here on the bottom. It totally just instantly brightens up my, my face. And I feel like this is the kind of scarf that I will be most likely wearing um, as a scarf. The line work, I'm not sure if it will necessarily show up as a top. I mean, it would, but I feel like I bought this one mo mainly because I wanted the white color. It's just so bright and it just instantly lifts my skin. Okay, here's another one. And this one, let's see which one this one is. Aha! <laughs> this one is a fun, fun one. I wasn't really after this one, to be honest. I was invited to an event at Hermes. The previous day from the event, I literally just shopped a bunch. So I already spent a lot of money the previous day. So technically, I didn't really need to feel guilty not spending on the day of the event. But it, I guess it's kind of just nice to buy something just because you, you got invited. But anyway, we saw this on display on the day of the event and we're like, you know what? It's nice, let's buy it. And let's buy another one as a gift, <laughs> you know, at the same time. So this is super fun. It just says uh, Hermes on it, but what's so super fun about it is that it looks like, um, 
it, it just reminds you of the video games that you used to play when you're a kid in the 90s because I grew up in the 90s and it just has that sort of feel because this scarf itself is even called Super Silk Quest so as if you're playing a video game and uh, there are lots of details on it that you really have to look for there's even like a Kelly bag here and little dragons and like there's a birkin right here a red birkin but yeah all in all it just looks like a quest like a video game so that was really funny and it does look really nice this colorway is really nice as well a little bit more colorful than the previous one but yeah just more pink you can sort of see the different feels of each one right this one right here because we didn't do it I'll just put it on so fast just to show you kind of like the feel so you see like this one has more grays in it uh, the white is definitely more white this one is more gray so they still all are very similar but so different when you put it on and of course it depends on your outfit too all right here's another one who loves buying scarves by the way because I don't know I'm crazy but ah yeah this one is really nice this one is called Arnaud de Coeur so it's the heart harness and like literally translated and it's such a gorgeous one so here is the tag for you my essay one day she was like oh were you interested in any new scarves because she knows that I love scarves and I was like oh I'm open to take a look and then she picked this one for me because it's one of their new ones and it's really nice it has like hearts on it it has a couple of the uh, equestrian horses and the colors are really gorgeous it's got this nice cream color so more so it's still neutral but more kind of like creamy color and it's a really beautiful tone that's the reason why I fell in love with it even though it has a lot of blues but it blends so well and as you can see each scarf on its own is really really pretty but when you put it on it's a different vibe and so this will go so well with a bag that is like nata or or, or any bags that are white but like creamy tones this is the most recent one I think that I bought and it's a really really nice one as well and something um, also really neutral but a little bit more colorful than the other ones that I picked more of that warm tone so I do like my cool tones um, but this one will match really really well with my gold bag since I got a new Constance and then of course my mini Kelly is a gold and this one is called a figure libre it's got more like of that orange brown and really really neutral kind of gold tone kind of like fall vibe and yeah they all have very different vibes but they all wear so well as a scarf and of course scarf season sweater season is coming which i'm not looking forward to but um, they all look really really nice so let me just try them in different ways for you of course you can make it a slightly thinner or slightly thicker and it's just the perfect size for kind of covering your neck under any sort of jackets or trench coat and it just gives you that really nice kind of like elevated feel it's got a little bit of design and I love that this color is brightening really really elegant keeps your neck warm and I love the white with black line work because it's not so busy white is also really really kind of hard to come by at Elman sometimes because they do a lot of creams and they do a lot of uh, beige but they don't always do a lot of pure white and I feel like this is not even pure white to be honest it's still it's still kind of more of an off-white in real life but it's so close to being like a true white that it's just yeah it's really really gorgeous this is a gorgeous scarf so even if you don't have any sort of scarf ring you can just easily just tie a knot like this tuck it into your jacket whatnot and that is what I love about these scarves rings um, you don't need a 
so many of them you just need a few designs that you love and this design also is really really simple you can't even tell which brand it's from and it just yeah see it just instantly elevates this whole scarf without any lumps and bumps again you can tuck it in if you want but like with a scarf ring you can just leave it out it's kind of like its own design i changed into a different top so that it's easier to show you so you want to wear some sort of substantial necklace so a pearl necklace works really well so this one i featured it in my favorites video so you kind of just tie a knot in between so your necklace becomes part of your top and then you kind of just drape this as a top around your body and then you kind of just you know find the the right yeah the right drape and then you guys just, just tie it in the back like this this design is totally wearable by most people and especially you know you still got a lot of scarf to work with when you use a necklace instead of using the scarf itself around your neck which i can do as well but i feel like this is even more comfortable than uh, the the other way which i can show you on a different scarf but look how gorgeous this is this is a gorgeous way to wear look at the this design right here like the dragon part i don't know if this is dragon maybe a fish i can't see right now but look how cute it is and we'll put a jacket on oh even though it's sweater weather you can still wear your scarves as tops and put a jacket on any of those gorgeous jackets that we showed you earlier so with each scarf i'm going to show you exactly how they look like as like just like as a scarf so this is how it will look like with this one slightly busier right you can see there's a lot of grays and a little bit of blue and a pop of green in the middle if you didn't fold it inside but just depends on how you fold it but as you can see it's still neutral it just gives it a different vibe don't you think uh, it works really well with this kind of like this is kind of like a taupey gray almost has a green undertone to it um, so it works really well so this is something that I saw on the mannequin in Hermes so all I did is tied a knot um, kind of across the triangle as a triangle you see so this is really like folded in two as a triangle and you just find the side that you want to wear so you could potentially show the side with the horse so the unicorn or you can just wear the more neutral side drape it any way you like um, I saw them use it on a different scarf but let's just do sort of like the neutral gray and blue and then you just tuck all of that inside your pants i had to go in front of a mirror but basically it, it's such an easy way to make it as a top you'll definitely need some sort of tube top already that you're wearing or maybe another um halter top that you own because it's essentially just covering the front of your body it shows off a bit of the design that has that is going on on your scarf so on this one it's just showing clusters of all the crystals but because of the colorway and it just so happens to match my sort of my, my choice of color when it comes to clothing and just my neutrals that i go for and these pants are kind of grayish um really really gorgeous neutral yeah uh, the possibilities are endless even with this jacket i mean any other jacket would do but like even with this jacket it looks so cool yeah it's just so nice and then you close it up it just looks like uh, a little scarf but then you open it and then people would be like oh i didn't know it was a top but it's not even it's a scarf depending on which way you fold it you can show more of the green you can show more of the orange or you can show more of the brown and there's all, a bit of yellow here it kind of just pulls some of that brown color and um even this green it kind of goes with this kind of fall colors and it just really depends on how you fold it i would probably try to hide more of the white and show more of the brown 
and just yeah so it looks really really nice like that here is another way to wear a scarf this is a way that i've already shown you guys a long time ago i also frequently wear this way out um, again, I'm not sure if you guys like this pattern worn this way. I guess this scarf, because of the color blocking, it's a little bit more limiting in my opinion as to how you can wear it and not look funky. But I think this is kind of cool because it looks like it's a top that has patches of color on it. Um, but yeah, this is another way. Basically tie two ends. Uh, kind of diagonally and then you put that through your head you find the best way to drape it so you find the nicest colors that you want to you know feature so I chose this way earlier and you drape it as nice as possible on your body and then you tied it up in the back and quite neutral because of the cream color a little bit of blues but it's really pretty and I think this worn as a scarf I think this scarf um, is pretty popular as far as I know and because it's it's really neutral when you wear it it just pulls very traditional but very elegant and as you can see um, it goes well with just this color it goes well with grays it goes well with creams and it's just really really pretty uh, because of the blues it also no looks nice with the jeans so with this scarf because you kind of have like a symmetrical pattern because it's sort of symmetrical this way right i feel like it would look really nice worn this way so you see the horse pattern here and you also see it in the back which is something that i've done a lot uh, with my other with my other scarf I'll show you in a minute but this is how I would wear this scarf because of the print because of the gorgeous horse print here and then you also see it in the back although uh, I try my best to tuck it in as possible uh, quickly so that I can come back to my camera but you see this is definitely one of my favorite ways to wear any of the Amaya scarves especially when the pattern permits so when you've got like a nice pattern that can really be nicely displayed it's such a gorgeous way to wear it as an asymmetrical top so here you go let me show you how I did it okay so I'm gonna untuck it so you see exactly how it works so you see how it's like this this bottom part here would have been just draping down bring it all the way up to your um, chest and then tie it right here. I would move it slightly to the front so that when you drape it and you kind of wrap it around, it will also hide your chest area and you just tuck it in into any sort of uh, pants or skirts and it's just gorgeous. Instantly brightens my complexion. There you go. It goes really nice with this kind of denim jacket type of vibe. I don't know if I'll wear denim on denim, but I'm just showing you <laughs> on top how it looks like underneath a nice blue jacket. And it's so cute because again, pink goes well with gray and this kind of blue is kind of grayish. So it's perfect for that. And you could wear it out a little bit. Oh, it's so nice. It's so, so very nice. It's got the RK buttons on the bottom, so cool. Don't be afraid to experiment because that's how I do it. I just figure out the best ways and then I keep doing the same thing because I definitely have my favorite ways. So let's see. No, don't like this. Maybe this side. I'm not sure, but let's try it. Yeah, I feel like this would look quite nice. There you have it. This would be my way of wearing this scarf. I feel like this is the nicest way. So just like I show you in way number two, this is the same. The reason why is because I like the border here. So there's a black border, so it kind of frames your, your top. And then I feel like the randomness of the print, you really have to kind of just shuffle it and then 
and then kind of just show the part that looks the most cohesive as a top and I love that it has some blues in it so it kind of matches with these jeans I think it's really really nice oh, it's really nice I actually love it I love it yeah this is definitely the way yeah the way to wear it and even I feel like because it's got this nice v-neck it will even look nice with a jacket on oh it's so nice it's so nice. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed all the silk reveals and all the different ways I wear my different silk scarves. Again, all the information is going to be in the description box. I will include every single name of the new scarves that I bought as well as the link for the ready to wear. They're so, so, so nice. And of course, use my coupon code to save a little bit at checkout. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again next week. Bye!